everyone and thanks for joining me today. We're looking at the sloping shoulder adjustment today. This is a very common fit alteration that I'm sure lots of you will benefit from. So uh, let's take a look at that in a bit more detail together. You will obviously need your block that you've drawn up with me uh, and also your calico sample that you've sewn up so you can see exactly how much you're going to need to remove and how much you're going to need to adjust in the shoulder area. This is a great little video so let's dive straight into it. If you've got shoulders that are sloping, you're going to find that you've got excess um, at this point here on the shoulder seam, right here. And also you're going to find that the fabric is really pooling in this area down here. So you've got excess fabric here at this point. Um, and you've got more volume here. It's not sitting flat on your shoulder at that point. Let's take a look at how to resolve that. We're going to work on the front bodice first because that's a little bit more simple because it hasn't got the dart. So to start off with, we're just going to draw a point maybe about a quarter of a way along the arm side from the neck point of the dart at that point along there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in our shoulder line and just trace around the arm side curve. I'm also just going to drop in the side seam. Cut through the slash line you just drawn up to that point and then just snip in to pivot that point. Now at this point we're just going to close up and reduce the volume of the volume in this area here because we've got a sloping shoulder and we're trying to reduce the amount of volume that we've got in the toile at this point. Now as you can see on here I've pinned away the excess volume around the sleeve head so all I need to do is just check what the distance is here to find out how much I want to remove it by. So for me it's one centimetre which means that overall I want to remove two centimetres of volume from the arm side at this point. So effectively I want to drop this down by two centimetres to ensure I remove the two centimetres at that point. Now it's then just going to rotate up to the shoulder up here effectively. It doesn't matter if you've not kind of pinned it exactly in line up to the shoulder point. You've probably just pinned out what you need to. Um, but just make a, a note of the amount that's been removed at the arm side. Okay, so we want to drop this down by two centimetres. So if we're dropping it down by two centimetres at the arm side, it's sitting like that. Grab some masking tape and just that there. Okay, so this now becomes your new shoulder line. However, I'm gonna grab a different colored pen now to start marking my final lines. And the first thing I want to do is I just want to sort out this arm sign now because we've got a discrepancy there. So I'm just marking a line from our new shoulder point. I might pop, pop, pop that here. That's my new shoulder point there, front shoulder point. And I just want to find a nice curve lining that front shoulder point up with my arm side. So something like that is going to look quite nice. It's following the curve. But obviously we want our arm side depth to remain the same or the, the circumference all around it. So we're then going to measure out what our arm side used to be on our previous block and translate that depth into the new alteration that we're about to do. So we're going to measure the arm side along our green lines. Or go back to your original block if you want. Don't forget to measure it a few times if you need to. For me, it works out as 19.8 centimetres. So I then want my new curve to be the same, 19.8. So I'm just going to start to measure along my red line here to make sure that my arm size stays about the same. 19.8 would take me down to about there. Using a pencil, you just want to mark on where that is and mark on a few help lines. Just dot them on to draw an approximate arm side depth. So my tape measure is giving me a bit of a gentle curve. Just want to hold it at that point. And I'm just going to dot that on and just check it one more time to make sure I'm happy with that line that I've just drawn. 19.8, yeah, great. Okay, so then just you can either freehand or use your pattern drafting tool just to mark that in. So everything's all dropped. Now at that point, what you now need to do is just to cut out the tracing paper that you've got here, cut along that line and around your new line, and then pop those changes 
onto your original body block. While we've got the changes here though, I'm just going to make a note of where the arm side needs to sit for our back pattern piece, how much it needs to drop down, so that the side seams are the same length. Okay, so working to our back bodice, again, we're just going to draw a nice slash line from our back net point across to the arm side, drawing your shoulder and the dart, and of course your original arm side. We then want to snip along just a little notch at that point to the neck point, and then snip along this long line here. Again, you will have marked out on your block how much you need to reduce the slope of your shoulders by. For me, I'm just going to assume once again that it's two centimetre reduction. So that brings me down to my two centimetre mark. So then grab a different coloured pen so you can see clearly the changes that you're making. And just draw in your new arm side. This is going to be a nice soft curve at this point. Next, I want you to measure out your original arm side length. Again, just use a tape measure to walk out that distance. For me, I'm getting 20 centimetres. And then you just want to redraw your new line so that it hits the side seam at this point to keep that consistent. So this needs to be 20 centimetres. So find a curve that is just going to help you get that or there or thereabouts. Dot that on. You may want to do a pencil to start off with. Check that you're happy with that new length and that it is correct. And then just draw it in. Now the only thing left to do is just to resolve this dart now. And we want the dart um, sides to be the same length so that when they're sewn together they align really nicely. So I want you just to find the midpoint of the dart as it stands right now. And just draw a line down where you think the middle of the dart would be. Extend one line down and the other line down and they should just meet in the middle at that point. I just want you to check that the length of both of those darts is the same as it hits the point of the dart there and that's great, that is for me so I'm happy with that. Just redraw in your dart, obviously the uh, point of the dart has just moved slightly and also the length of it will be slightly reduced because you've taken the volume out there. So you can now see really nicely what those changes have done to your block piece. We've removed and lowered the shoulder line. Uh, at that point, we've taken the volume out of the front of the shoulder here to accommodate our lowered and um, shoulder point here and here. Those two will tie up together really nicely. And then we've also kept the arm side the same depth overall, but it's obviously just shifted down in response to the shoulder points moving. So at this point, you then want to cut out around your red lines, <laughs> around the red lines that you've drawn, and then your shoulder points as well, your new shoulder line. And then you can trace that and mark it onto your original block using a colored pen or pencil. Thanks for joining me today as we've looked at the sloping shoulder fit adjustment. I trust you found that really helpful today um, and that it's been really clear. As always, please do pop your comments below the video if you've got any questions or you just want to join in the conversation. We always love to hear from you all here at Minerva. As ever, when you're fitting your bodice, you're going to need to look at a few different fit alterations, I expect. Maybe, you know, a handful, four or five different alterations. If you're looking at your block and you've made this adjustment for the sloping shoulders, and now you think, oh, I think there's another area that I might just need to look at again, please go and refer back to video 23, where we list out all the different common fit issues and how to resolve them, and also explain which video we're going to be um, doing and filming those in. So you can then refer to those videos directly and just go straight into the fit alteration that you need. And thanks for joining me today. It's been great fun to look at these fit videos with you. I will see you next time. Bye.